Hi guys, welcome to this uh, plasma system. So we started up with the ISO of Arclan XP Plasma and then we said let's grab XHA DWM inside Calamaris and even run ran afterwards the Nemesis scripts as you know I do. The topic of the video is actually how to figure out settings and then later on once the settings are set how to keep them and how to get them back after a clean install so we have done exactly the same uh, for any of our desktops so it has already been documented but it's a work i have to do and what's the reason of why why do i need to do this as you see when i move it it's transparent but when i let console go it's not that transparent. So where's the setting? Well, I can do two things. I can copy paste the complete file or I can just say, let's um, go with some code, look at the code. So control C, control V makes a copy. I just name it backup or something. Okay, so he's busy. And if I do a compare later on, right mouse click and I do a melt menu compare selected files and melt of course has to be installed and I don't want to see everything it's the same I want to see only the things that are different so these things are different fine let's keep them around and then this thing right how is this going to be um, changed and where is the file and what is the config line in there so edit current profile is what I'm going to choose. going to go to appearance, going to have a look. I set Arclix Arc Dark. If I edit this thing and I make the background a little bit more transparent and I apply it, then already I have something, a new look, right? Okay. Is this the way I want it to be in the future? Then okay, if that's the case, and let's do another test with Alt N, the next wallpaper. Alt N, Alt N. Do I like this new look? Yes, no, right? Otherwise, back to edit current profile, appearance, and there's more to be changed, and there's more stuff. There's here also blur background, which is seems to be already applying that, but, um, Let's see what happens. Alt, well, probably best is safe. I better be safe than sorry. Reload it. Let's see what it applies. It's actually okay, right? I can live with this look. There is an, however, a um, thing which I really can't live with. It should be a little bit bigger. So that's the question. Is it now saved? If I drag this, I do control T again, then it's bigger. Okay. So we see the last lines up here. So if this is going to be my setting, then I go back I go back to melt. I'm going to refresh it. I'm going to see what changed. So this is not our thing, not, nor is this, nor is the variety of wallpapers. We're talking about the console RC. And there's also this little guy. Let's first have a look at this one. So that's the wallpaper, it's a wallpaper. So unimportant. This is the guy I need to put in the, the code of the new Arclix Plasma, and then I'll be fine. So there are screens here, there's the height. So I'm gonna change the height. It's 918 instead of 730. I'll probably round off to 650 or 920, right? And exposition show uh, as dangerous because there are always different screen sizes. Resort position. Uh, so I, I don't know. Maybe keep these two, uh, or we'll change the first two. I'll see what's in there right now. I don't, I don't know. But this is the size, and this is gonna be the state. That's gonna be the the look that I'm currently having written away in something gibberish that we don't understand but it knows what it should do with this code 
that's the state it will be all right as simple as that so make a copy you got the file and the console rc that thing there needs to be copy pasted over so console rc this file is what you keep Control c put it anywhere you like in in the cloud or, or whatever i will put this typically goes inside arclix nemesis Right? If I say this is the thing, this is how it should look, and Eric is all wrong, and it's okay because we are all having different tastes, that's okay. So you go to home, data, Outlinx Nemesis, all the personal stuff go in here for me. I make myself a nice little folder and say console, right? And then you put it in there. Console, here you are. Control V. And all you need to do now is say in a bash script, run it copy this file to that place done and you have your personalized dot config spec and it applies to all of these things all of these things all right enjoy i'm gonna give this code to you again via the packages and the updates cheers